Welcome back, percussionists. Today, in lesson number three, video number three, we are going to do eighth note rests. And we're going to practice four examples, number 9, 10, 11, and 12, using eighth note rests. Let's just discuss what those eighth note rests are and what we do when we encounter one. Well, the eighth note rest looks very similar to a little number seven. And a single eighth note rest gets half of a beat of silence when the bottom number is four in two, four, three, four, or four, four time. We're still going to count our eighth notes and rests, one and two and three and four and. Sometimes our eighth note rests will be on the downbeat using the whole, or the whole numbers, one and two and three and four and. Sometimes our eighth rests will be in the space filled by the word and. One, two, three, four, and. When that's the case, it's often said that the notes are on the beat. But if the eighth rest is on the beat, the eighth notes are considered to be off the beat or on the upbeat or and. Let's practice some of this technique with number nine. I've got my metronome set at 80 beats per minute that's our tempo. And I'm going to use that tempo for number 9, 10, 11, and 12. I'm going to make sure that my metronome is set to 4 for time, so I'm getting my 4 counts per measure. Here we go. Number 9. 1 and 2 and ready, begin. 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4. 1 and 2, 3 and 4. 1 and 2 and 3. And four. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three. One, two, three and four and one, two and three and four. One and two and four. One, two and three and four. One, two, three, four. One and two and three and four and one and two and and four and one and two and and four and 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 three and four. one and two and 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 one and two and and four and two and four one and two and three and four. That one was a tricky one. If you need more practice with number nine or any of the examples in this series, press pause on the video, work a little bit on your own using your metronome, and then come back and play the video exercise or play that exercise again for review and to double check your, your playing performance. Great. I'd like to point something out in number nine, and it's in the fourth line, it's the first measure. That first measure is filled with four beautiful quarter notes. One, two, three, four. And we count that with the whole numbers. Now in the measure right after it, in that second measure, we've got eighth rest, eighth note, eighth, no, eighth rest, eighth note, eighth rest, eighth note, eighth rest, eighth note. In this instance, the whole number will be the rest. We'll have to say and when we play our eighth, rest, our eighth notes. One, and. And it's often said that the eighth notes are played on the upbeat or on the and. So I hope you found that helpful. Next, let's move on to number 10. We're in 3-4 time, and there's something I need to point out. It happens to be in measure 3 and measure 4. Do you see that symbol, that repeat symbol that we, we, we encountered last week? But this time it has a 2 above it, and it's covering two measures. What we do when we see a two measure repeat is we repeat the two measures prior to that repeat. Or, for in this case, we're going to repeat measures one and two. So play one, two, and repeat them. One, two. Then play measure three, four, and repeat them. Three, four. Further along in number 10, we'll see that we also have another single measure repeat. That means we're repeating just the measure prior to that single measure repeat. Here we go. 
One, two, three, ready, set, begin. One and two, three. One, two, three. One and two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One and two, three. One, two, three. One and two, three. One, two, three. And, and, and one, two, three. One, two, three. And, 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 one and, and three. And two, and one, two, three. One and two, and three, and one, and one. One and two and three and one two three. One and two three. One two three. One and two and three and one and two three. That one might have been tricky for you. Another technique that I often have my students do when they're with me for lessons is I'll take a pencil and I'll circle the tricky measures and I'll try to write out that counting. One and two and three and and then if I can say it, I certainly can play it. So I'll try saying it while I'm playing it. Let's move on to number eleven. We're in two four time, so I've adjusted my metronome to give me two pulses per measure. And my first and second measures look kind of strange because I've got an eighth rest, an eighth note beamed over an eighth rest to another eighth note. That's just the composer's way of showing us that we still have eighth notes and that we can beam over an eighth rest. We're still going to count it one and two and one and two and. Let's give it a try. Also, I see that we've got a, a multiple measure rest. That's in the second line and it's got a four. We're going to have four measures of two four time as our rest. So we'll count one, two, 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 three, two, four, two in that space. You'll hear me counting along. Here we go. One and two and ready, begin. And, 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 and one, two, one, two. And, 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 and one and two and one and two and number 11. We're going to finish with number 12. And now we're about to endeavor on something that's out of the ordinary. We are going to play in 5-4 time. 5-4 means five counts per measure. The quarter note still gets one, the half note still gets two, and the whole note still gets four beats because it's the bottom number that gives us our notes value. It just so happens that a whole note won't be the only thing in a measure. It'll need a quarter note to accompany it to fill out the measure. I'm going to change my metronome to 5-4 time, if I can find one here. Bum, bum, bum. Uh-oh, I don't have a 5-4 on my metronome. What do I do? Well, you might run into that very same problem. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to select 4-4, four, four, and I'm going to turn off the accent. So now I'll just have a pulse. And I'll count that pulse. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. I won't need to look at it. I'll just use that as my metronome, as my steady pulse or my steady beat. So let's go. Number 12, five, four time. 
Be careful of your counting on this one. And one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, ready, begin. One, two, three, four, five, and one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and one, two, three, four, five. exercise feels very uncomfortable to a drummer or percussionist who only plays in 2-4, four, 3-4, four, four, and 4-4 four, four times. Because it's an irregular meter, meaning it's not common, it's irregular. Break that feeling that you might get from that by often by trying to count in different numbered time structures. Count in groups of fives, count in groups of sevens, count in multiple Count a group of four, and then a group of six, and then a group of seven, and again, then a group of five. Try to create the irregular to make it feel regular. It will help you down the line, and it will also cause you to be able to count more efficiently when you see these rhythm structures happen in our music. So today, we worked on the single eighth rest. We played them on the beat, one, and two, and three, and four, and, as rests, and then we also put them off the beat. One, two, three, four. We even did it in five, four time. So I hope this video has been helpful, and I hope you'll use this video and others again very, very soon. Until I see you again soon, keep practicing.